Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brad Lone Wolf, and uh, today, um, or in this video, I'm going to be talking about something fairly close to my heart, or should I say head. Um, with spring here now, it's May as I film this video, um, the weather is getting hotter uh, and the sun is out for longer. Now, we are still in the middle of lockdown, but uh, the exercise, uh, the exercise restrictions have been lifted, uh, which means that we can go out for as long as we want. Um, now, if you're lucky enough to have a full head of hair, this probably won't apply to you as much. Uh, but if, like me, you are balding, um, and yes, I realise that this is getting out of control. Obviously all the hairdressers are shut at the moment. I have ordered a pair of clippers, but that's getting off the subject. Uh, if you happen to be bald like me, um, you end up obviously wearing a hat. Now, for somebody like myself, um, I normally go for one of two choices. The broad brimmed hat, um, or the buff. Uh, well, I should say... This isn't a buff, this is a seamless tube cloth. It's a buff. Um, those are the two options I normally go for. Uh, obviously in cold weather I'd normally wear um, a fleecy hat. It's not cold weather so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, pros and cons obviously to each of these. The major pro for myself is both of these cover my head. So my... Uh, my head um, gets a reduced chance of uh, sunburn and sunstroke and everything else. Um, and I've actually seen that. It's not very nice. Um, I haven't experienced it myself, but I have seen it. Um, so, obviously, it helps. Uh, it's certainly in some situations, having a hat is better than having most other forms of clothing. Um, it's quite often said that um, somewhere like the desert, it's better to have a hat and no shirt than a shirt and no hat. Um, so those are the the pros to each of those. Um, the cons, however, um, obviously that's quite bulky. Um, I mean, it's it's on your head most of the day anyway. But even so, it's quite quite bulky. This one's fairly light, but you can actually get ones that are a lot heavier. Um, obviously, the buff screws up into nothing. Um, the uh, the pros of the broad brimmed hat um, by itself are the fact that um, not only does it cover your head, but also covers your ears and back of your neck as well. So you've got a bit bit more protection from broad broad brimmed hat. Uh, pros of the buff, not only can you wear it as a hat or a head protection, it does come back down over the back of my neck, but obviously it's quite light so it does blow around, it does blow around, it's quite light, it does blow around like that, I realise my hand, my arm was in the way of the camera then, but you can also wear it as a mask, which I have been doing um, the past few weeks, as you can imagine. It's also useful as a neck scarf. If you've got long hair, you can wear it as a headband. Not that it looks particularly good on on myself. Um, you can use it as a face cloth if you need to wipe your face down. There's lots of different. There's lots of advantages to the buff. Um, I just, I honestly just prefer broad brim, broad brimmed hat. Um, the buff uh, is obviously. As I've already demonstrated, screws up into nothing and weighs next to nothing either. Um, the cons of each of these, well, you've already seen how big and bulky the broad brimmed hat is, but personally, I think those cons are outweighed by uh, the pros. That's just my opinion, it's not necessarily a fact. The cons of the buff um, there aren't that many. Uh, the only real con I can think of is when this gets wet, um, it tends to stay wet. 
Um, so you need to dry it out thoroughly. It's the same with a broad brimmed hat. Um, but that's that's really uh, a quick video on head coverings, particularly as we're coming into late spring, early summer now. Um, not saying either one is better than the other, but there are there are certain things that I think um, just lean towards the broad brimmed hat. Again, that's just my opinion. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to follow it. Uh, thank you very much for watching, uh, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.